In this video, we're going to discuss inventory revaluation, and we're going to discuss what happens when we need to revalue our inventory. So let's go ahead and go into inventory. And there's a couple of different scenarios where you might need to revalue your inventory. Whatever the case is, there's two different things that we want to keep in mind. If we're using standard cost or standard price in Odoo, the revaluation is going to come from updating our cost price on our product. And this is automatically going to create a journal entry to either reduce or increase our stock valuation account. And the other side of that journal entry is going to be our cost of goods sold account, our default cost of goods sold account, that is. Now, on the other end of things, when you're using average cost or first in, first out, there's a way to do it from our reporting tab inside of our valuation report. So here we have our infant, or average cost and we have first in, first out. They work both the same. If I go to average cost here, I can click on this button as long as I have my products grouped by product. So when this is grouped by product, I can click on this revaluation. And this is going to pop up a wizard that allows me to adjust the cost of my products. And we have some helpful hints here to tell you exactly how you're adjusting this inventory. So for example, if I need to add value to my inventory for whatever reason, let's say I want to make this $45 or I want to add $45 to the total value of my inventory, or let's do 40 here for simplicity. Our value is going to increase to 120, $60 a unit, and we're adding $40 total value. So our total value goes from $60 a unit, or rather from $40 a unit to $60. So if I zero this out, we see $40 per unit, and if we look in our background here, our average cost, the total value in our average cost currently is $80 and we have two units on hand for $40 each. So if we wanted to add an additional $40 of value, we're gonna increase those units of value by $20 each and that's going to be $60 per unit. We can give this a reason for whatever reason we are adjusting our inventory so that we can have this for record keeping on the journal item. So maybe we are going to adjust this because uh, we're just going to revalue. We'll just write in a note saying revalue based on market. But we also have to give this a counterpart account. And we got to say, what is the counterpart account to increasing our stock valuation? Because you need to have a balanced journal entry. So here what I have is I created a new account called gain on revaluation. This is an income account. Typically, it will be an income account or an equity account. Either way, it will eventually end up in an equity account when we close out our financial year. But again, this is totally up to you and how you do business. I elected to use an income account here. Then we need to give this an accounting date. So I'll give this the today's date, which is January 14th. And we can revalue the inventory, which will update our average cost on product two to be $60 a unit. And it's going to create a journal entry. So here we see we added $40 of value. If I click on this journal entry here, we see the stock revaluation, change stock valuation. We have revaluation of product two. This is a stock valuation account being debited to increase our stock valuation account. And we have our gain on revaluation for $40, which is going to show on our income statement. Now, if we go to our product itself and we look at that average cost product, we see that the cost has increased to $60. Now, if we go and just double check our profit and loss statement, we'll see under other income, we have our gain on revaluation. And then on our balance sheet, we'll see the accurate depiction of our stock valuation automated account increasing to 305. And if we look at our general ledger here, we can see that stock move, revaluation of product two, who it was done by, and the debit for $40, increasing our total balance in that account to 305. That works very similarly in first in, first out. So if I went to um, our valuation report and we go to first in, first out, we can add value here. And let's say in this example, we wanna decrease it based on some market conditions. We'll just say market value. And we want to add the added value to be less. So maybe we want to reduce this by a total of $10. 
or let's do fifteen dollars because we have three units in I just want to make this some even numbers now we're reducing it by fifteen dollars making each unit worth twenty dollars and our counterpart account here can be some sort of cost of revenue account um, it can be a new account that we might create for um, inventory write down and we're going to also give this an accounting date and we can click on revalue here so we'll see a new line added to our stock valuation layer to reduce the cost by fifteen dollars and now if we go to our product here and we look at our first in first out we're going to see the total cost as twenty dollars reducing from our total earlier of twenty five for our first in first out product so now let's take a look at what happens when we sell this unit because now the average cost as we mentioned earlier this is displaying the average cost of our units but we're working on a first in first out method so let's see what happens when we sell product three and if we go to our reporting tab on valuation we'll see that our next unit to leave was originally valued at $25. So now let's go into sales and let's just duplicate this previous sale order for our first in first out product, confirm it, we'll deliver these products out, create the invoice and confirm this invoice and look at our journal entries. Now the system has accurately removed $20 worth of value for our first in first out product and if we go into inventory reporting valuation first in first out we reduced our units by $15 so this $25 valued product is now worth $20 and the system removed $20 worth of value so it, it handled it automatically we reduced all of our units by $5 a unit and therefore this first in first out method should have reduced by 20 instead of 25 which it has here now the last thing I want to mention with that which I shown in previous videos if we go to our standard price product here product one and we updated this to let's say $20 that's going to create a journal entry and we can see that in our valuation for we'll go to standard price it just removed $10 of value total for all of our units and that's automatically going to come out of our cost or go into our cost of goods sold so I just want to keep that in mind. Cost of goods sold is the default account that gets hit for any standard price products. Now that's everything you need to know about revaluing your inventory.